A lot of people suck at straight ankle locks. A lot of people suck at leg locks in general. I'm gonna give you a principle that can get you better at almost every leg lock. And it's something that people don't think about enough when it comes to jiu-jitsu. A lot of people think, oh, I am gonna do a heel hook. I'm gonna do a straight ankle lock. I just grab the grip and pull. If we thought about an arm bar that way, and I decided I was gonna arm bar my opponent for close guard, and I went for an arm bar without first throwing my leg over his head and securing the position, I would never finish arm bars. He would have way too much shoulder mobility, he would have way too much elbow mobility, and he would escape. Why people don't realize that leg locks are the same way, that you have to control and lock the person in, isolate and then finish is insane. But a lot of people think of leg locks that way, and that is why a lot of people suck at leg locks. So I'm gonna give you one really simple principle to get good at the straight angle. So there are millions of entries in the leg lock. That was a huge exaggeration. There's probably like 50 entries into a straight ankle lock. And that is uh, not what we're gonna focus on today. Uh, if, you, if you want to figure out how to do a straight ankle lock, there's a lot of other ideas, there's a lot of other entries that you can find on Instagram or YouTube. Uh, their videos aren't as good. We wanna focus on the finish, okay? Because that's what people struggle with. And you see a lot of people go to finish a standard straight ankle lock, one uh, heel in the hip, knees pinched together, the leg just like this. And you see this a lot. And there's a lot of pressure and power, and I don't finish. Robert didn't even flinch there. Robert is the toughest person that I know named Robert. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna isolate his leg. Okay? When I say that, I don't just mean isolate his whole leg because if I pinch my heel in my knee very tightly, I have his leg isolated. But still, if I go to that same foot lock, I don't finish. Why is that? Well, it's because when I go to put this pressure, all the pressure is distributed throughout his whole leg. So how do I isolate even farther down on his leg? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bend in his knee. And that's very important for this position if we're finishing a straight ankle lock this way. Some people like the high hands Achilles lock and that works very well. You just tend to have to be a little stronger to finish that. We're gonna go for a straight ankle lock that you do not have to be strong to finish. I show my kids class this. They can't do it in competition. It's illegal for kids to straight ankle lock it. But if they're on the basketball court, and somebody makes them mad, they can straight ankle lock them. And that's why we should use jujitsu to hurt other people that beat us in other sports. And so what I'm gonna do here for the straight ankle lock first, I'm not even gonna be hugging. Usually I am, but just for the, the sake of showing how powerful this is, I'm not gonna hug yet, okay? I'm just gonna keep my hand here. My hand on the inside goes to the outside on the floor. And watch what I do here. I take this. I lift my body up and I pinch back. And now I've created a bend in Robert's knee. Already there's pressure. I can actually finish this foot lock without going underneath. If somebody's really flexible or really tough, we do need to be underneath. But I just want to explain and I want you guys to feel this first. What I do here is I just look over my shoulder and I begin to give that pressure, okay? And that puts a stretch. It's very much like a toehold feel on this type of foot lock. Now let's say in the exact same thing, I'm actually in my straight ankle lock position. I adjust and I get to the Achilles. Now, as I do that same thing, what I really have to focus on is pinching my elbow, almost like I'm trying to bring my elbow to my spine. So as I post, I pinch. Already, Robert's about to tap. I haven't put any pressure, I'm just, my hand's here. I don't have my hands connected. Now, as I start to arch, now I get the finish. And that is the big thing in most leg locks is that people don't isolate the leg, right? Or isolate what they're actually trying to attack. Sometimes they'll isolate the entire leg and then try to attack. We want to make all of our pressure exactly where we're trying to attack. We don't want to be, waste any energy. We need to be highly efficient in this straight angle. 
And that is why you suck at jujitsu. Once you fix those mistakes that we just worked on, you'll be able to get even better at jujitsu. But if you want to level up more, be sure to subscribe to this channel and like the video.